you know, you expected this team. I mean, it's just the natural thing to do would to be urgent and intense and throw the kitchen sink at these guys and just be relentless to save your season. And instead they were tame and they were gentle. And it's just baffling that you could have this team. This isn't like a team that squeaked into the playoffs with a bunch of young guys who were trying to figure it out and had a bunch of changes and personnel things happening and they no expectations and they snuck into the playoffs and hey, shit, you know, they got to the second round. This is like the team. Is it the best team they've had in 20 years? Maybe they got to the second round, but to come out like that and your stars, like we've, we talked about it in October. We said it wasn't an issue with goaltending. It wasn't an issue with the defensive breakdowns in the playoffs. It was we can't score a goal when we need it. And last night, a goal goes in off a guy's ass, and that's that's it. And we can't score. If, if, they, if, they get, if they tie the game on us, we're done because we can't score another goal. And they do, eventually. So it's just, you just scratch your head and you say, where is where is the drive? Where is the intensity? How many times... Has a guy gone into a corner and kind of pulled up and, and let him take it so you could try to get a stick, stick on him? The teams that win the Stanley Cup, they are going balls out, working their ass off, moving their legs to get there first, just so you can take a hit, just so you can get a stick on it first and, and move it one direction or the other. That, that just doesn't happen out there. They, how many, like, where's the speed going north, 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 overwhelming them? No, we pull up and we go against the fucking grain for some reason. And then little spot passes into places. Like it's, it's junior where they're better than everybody else. That's not the case anymore. Like Mitch Marner and Matthews and stuff. You're not in junior anymore where you can just dominate by being fancy. Name a Stanley Cup winner who's fancy, whose identity is, oh, we're sparkly and we're fancy and we play neat, cute fun hockey that looks really cool on Instagram. It's never happened. And it's like these guys can't get through their heads. This is the playoffs. And I thought that they might have fixed that by adding Ryan O'Reilly's and adding the Luke Shens and adding the guys with that tenacity who can actually show the way on this is what the playoffs look like. And I guess they did do a point. They got them over the hump to the second round. And then it's same old shit right now. And I mean, Leafs Nation, you, you have a right to be pulling your hair out right now. It's not acceptable. And I mean, I hate it when guys say, oh, they're not trying or they don't care. Like The group in there cares and they're trying. This is their whole livelihood. This is the culmination of their life's work. This is their future. This is what they do. They care and they're trying, but just in all the wrong ways, in all the wrong. You can't try harder by, I'm going to be fancier. I'm going to do more, you know, pull-ups and cutbacks and shit. You got to go north. You got to work your ass off. You got to get into the tough areas. You got to play playoff hockey. You got to sweat. You got to bleed. You got to get pissed off. And just none of that, none of that was present. And it's frustrating, but I mean, they've got a sliver of hope and they've got to take it one game at a time now. But if you play that way, you're, you're just never, ever, ever going to win in the playoffs. End of story.